Hey, hello, hello, welcome to the show today. You're listening to Rima FM, and here it's all about the English. <music> Welcome to the lesson for today and like you figured it out already, it's all about words related to radio. Now radio is a fun medium, it's an interesting medium, it's a live medium and people have enjoyed it for decades. Now there are certain words which are used only in radio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through these words so the next time you're tuned in to your favorite radio show, you can actually use these terms and impress someone else and say, you know what, I know so much about radio. So the first one on my list is radio jockey. Okay, now if you're visualizing somebody who's riding a horse and, you know, probably carrying a radio set and trying to lean in on the horse and trying to listen to radio, you are very far from the truth. Come back. So a radio jockey is actually a person who speaks on radio. A radio announcer or a presenter is called radio jockey. Now in many countries, people who host radio shows are also called DJs. And in some countries, they are referred to as RJs, meaning radio jockey. So, well, radio jockey means a presenter or a radio show host or a radio announcer. Now, these people are actually celebrities in their own right because, you know, you're listening to them daily. Their opinion actually makes a difference and they have a huge fan following. So radio jockey, almost the most important term on radio. Moving on, I have for you frequency. Now, does this remind you of science class? I'm sure it does. So we've all learned about frequency and amplitude in your science textbook. So when it comes to radio, the meaning is quite simple. Now, each radio station is available at a certain number, a certain frequency. You know, it could be 100, it could be 100.1, it could be 104 or 104.8 and so on and so forth. So the number at which you can tune the frequency and listen to this particular station, which means the frequency at which the radio station broadcast is available is called the radio station frequency. So frequency actually stands for the number where the station is available. So there's lots of stations, you know, wherein the radio jockey comes on air and says something like, Hey, welcome, you're listening to 104 FM, which means the frequency of that station is 104. And moving on, I have for you cans. What are cans? What can they do? What can't they do? <laughs> Just trying to confuse you. Cans are very simple. Actually, cans are the slang word for headphones. Now, if every radio jockey or RJ actually puts on headphones before going live on the radio station. So in radio terms, it's a slang word. Cans actually mean headphones. So we actually, we're actually told something like, you know, check your cans. Can you hear yourself? Yes, I can. Okay, you're good to go live. So that's what cans means. It means headphones. Moving on, cum. C-U-M-E. Now this is actually cumulative audience. Now cum is a very very important term in radio because it is a method to measure how many people are listening to the radio show. 
So it actually helps you measure the cumulative audience. So it basically just means that when you're, you know, hosting your radio show, how many unique people are tuned in to your show and for how long? All of this is given to you by the cum, which is the cumulative audience. Now, this is very important because if there is no audience, if no one's listening to you, there's really no point in hosting a show, right? So if you're a very good RJ, your cumes are very high. Up next, mm, this is something every RJ is actually scared of. It's called dead air. How can air be dead? Air is actually what we breathe in and we're alive. But how can air be dead? Well, dead air actually means a gap or a pause on radio. So imagine you're listening to your favorite song on radio and suddenly you can't hear anything. There's just this slight buzzing sound which is almost silent but not quite silent and then suddenly the song comes right back on. So that gap, that pause which is dreaded by everybody in radio is called dead air. So if I'm hosting a radio show, I have to be careful that I don't cause any, dread, any dead air, which means when I'm talking, I seamlessly put in a song after I finish talking and I don't waste precious radio seconds in dead air. So this is something to be careful on radio. Dead air, which means a gap or a pause. Up next, there is white noise. Now, white noise is actually a very technical term and it has a very loaded and difficult meaning in your science textbook, but on radio, it just means rubbish. So, if you have an RJ or a radio show host who's just talking nonsense for a long period of time and his or her voice is screechy, high-pitched and unpleasant to the ear, most people just say, oh, I hate the way she hosts her show. It's just white noise. Or if you play a very unfamiliar, boring song, which is just draining the energy of the radio show, then you just call that song white noise and make sure that you never play it again. So white noise on radio just means rubbish. You know, stuff that you don't want to listen to or stuff that will make you tune out and tune in to another radio station. Now, you don't want your listeners going to the competition, right? So make sure if you're an RJ, white noise is a no-no. Moving on, voice track. Now, voice track is a great way of fooling your audience, which means you're really not present in the radio studio. Your show is recorded, but with the method of voice track, you can make it appear like you're hosting your show live. So to voice track your radio show means to record the voice bits on your show. So it's like, you know, imagine there is no RJ in the studio, but as an audience, you get to hear, hello, hello, welcome to my show. It's a brand new day and a great morning. You're listening to me, Rima. And yes, up next, I have a fantabulous song for you. What it actually means is that I'm actually giving you the impression that I'm there in the studio, but I may or may not be there. So when you record your show in a particular format and you voice track it, and you align the songs after it, it appears like a live show, but it may not be a, a live show. Moving on, there is a live. So live is really simple. It's just real time. So the complete opposite of voice tracking is going live, which means I wear my cans, that is headphones, and I switch on my mic and I start speaking in real time, which means I'm live on radio. Now imagine if I sneeze, ah, chew, or if I cough, <coughs> or 
if I decide to breathe really loudly like <sighs> now all of these things will go right into your listeners ear that's right that's what being live means it's all real time if I make a mistake if I fumble if I say the wrong word it's all going right there because it's live there are no retakes and trust me, when you're an RJ, going live is the biggest privilege that you'll ever have. It's a lot of fun and it has some great energy. Moving on, I have for you playlist. Now, playlist is the list of songs that you're going to play on your show. Now, sometimes radio shows actually use a software. You know, like a program where you can program the songs that you're going to play. In the olden days, the songs had to be manually arranged, which means you took a paper and you wrote down a list of songs that you're going to play on your show and manually played each one on your show. Well, it happens at some places nowadays, but most places they actually use a software wherein the list of songs can be programmed so that once the RJ has finished talking, he just needs to hit play and the songs play. So a playlist is a list of songs that you're going to play in your show today. So most RJs you'll see actually promote their show by saying, you know what, I have a great playlist for you. Don't go anywhere, stay with me. So that what, that's what playlist means, a list of songs. And the last one on my list is again related to music, music on radio. To be precise, Q track. It means to line up the next song. So if I'm an RJ and I'm talking on my show, okay, and I'm saying things like, up next, I have a fabulous song for you. This one's the biggest hit of the year, and here it comes. Now, moment I finish talking, there can't be dead air. There can't be that five second or two second gap wherein the song is taking its time to come on. The song needs to play instantly. There can't even be one second in the middle. So for that reason, what the RJ does is the RJ cues the track, which means the RJ lines up the next track that has to be played and while he or she is talking, like, you know, up next, a fabulous song for you coming right up. And before I finish talking or he or she, whoever the RJ is, finishes talking, the song, song starts playing in the background and then suddenly the volume goes up and you get to enjoy the biggest hit of the year. The song is referred to as a track. So when your track is cued, as in lined up, then you can't go wrong. Well, that's my list of terms related to radio. I hope you were able to learn new words today, new meanings related to the medium of radio. So the next time you're listening to radio, I hope all of these terms come to your mind. I really hope you enjoyed the lesson for today. And in case you have something to say to me, make sure you type in the comment box below. For more such interesting lessons, do subscribe to our channel. This is me, Rima, saying bye-bye, take care and have a great time.